Hey guys, here we are, another video. Pfft, crazy. Ninokuni just dropped a bomb on us. This is a very loaded event. A lot of things to do here. Uh, I don't know if this redeemed themselves, but I would say if you are playing the game, you gotta be happy. First thing worth mentioning, the 28-day check-in gifts. Um, in the end, you will get a Clues Rare Familiar Selection gift, which is kind of like the one that we had uh, in the 100-day thing. Uh, but with this one, Squeeby is included, so you gotta love that. It's a freebie anyway, so you can't complain, right? Uh, Another thing, which is not visible uh, Wednesday, Thursday, so that's why I wanted to talk about this on a Friday because on Friday, this one comes out, right? So just to show you, uh, you can actually get tickets from that. So like this one uh, is for free. This is for today. And then one was on Wednesday. Uh, I also got that for free, right? But there are two kinds of tickets. Uh, one is the red ticket and then one is the blue ticket. Is it worth it? Well, let's check it out since that's what we're here for, right? Uh, so these are things that you can use for Javir purposes, right? So if you don't like Javir at all or uh, you're not really into the PvP type of content, this is a definite pass, but you can use your free ones. That's, uh, that's for free anyway. So yeah, just use that. The 100 diamond for each ticket I don't think it's worth it, so I'll just use the free ones. This one, you can't get anything for free. You always have to buy it a hun for like a hundred uh, diamonds. I don't know if there's going to be free ones in the future, but so far, uh, there's no uh, free ones, right? So uh, in the end, you are going to be like, there's a chance to get this one. Uh, it's going to be random though, <laughs> right? So uh, maybe, you know, temper your expectation. So not only is it random to get these things, but in the end, if ever you do get it, like you were lucky enough to get it, uh, you will still need to be lucky enough to get the, uh, the familiar that you actually want to have, right? So that's double the, uh, <laughs> the luck that you need, right? And the the rates is terrible, right? So two percent for the four star familiar capsule, and then another f and point four percent for the rare four star familiar capsule. I hate that. Uh, and this one being hundred diamonds uh, each, I would rather just summon in the uh, you know the uh, familiar summoning. At least with this one, uh, it will increase your uh, what do you call this? Your your pity, right? So uh, in the if you have like hundred summons or something, uh, you will get a you know a uh, a guarantee four star or a guarantee rare four star, right? Depends on where you are at. But so with this one, uh, it's only by chance, um, and there's no pity on it. I would uh, I would definitely pass on this one, but if you like to gamble, if you're one of those people who likes to take chance, then sure, go ahead. Uh, I'm not gonna blame you, but uh, do not blame me if uh, you know <laughs> if you end up being uh, broke because of this one and end up getting nothing. Just to say, I warned you. All right, so there you go. Uh, next, I want to talk about something that is a bargain. So we talked about something that is not a good bargain, something that I would definitely pass on. Let's talk about something that is really good bargain. And that is something that you will get on Wednesday. Now, if you weren't online on Wednesday, maybe you were sleeping on the game because, ah, oh, damn, it's really boring the past few weeks. But now it is getting interesting. Uh, just to show you uh, what I'm talking about when I said something is worth it, this is the one, right? So the three-star toy chest. Uh, this one costs 30,000 gold each. Now that is kind of expensive, but still, uh, it is worth it, right? And you can do 30 times. So you can buy 30 of this every Wednesday. So uh, it is only available every Wednesday, but this is very good bargain in my opinion. I actually bought all of that. So that's why uh, like from... I have a lot of gold uh, and now I don't have a lot because I purchased every single thing and if you buy everything that's almost a million gold right but this is definitely uh, worth it and 
uh, and I don't know if I mentioned it, I got a six star toy uh, because of that. It is with Ouroboros, right? So the uh, pink padded jacket, I like it that it's like, you know, for everybody, right? <laughs> so at least it's not specific for someone that I am not using. So with this one could still be used, right? So I like that. That's kind of lucky for me, right? But anyway, uh, this that is something that you should consider buying. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now if you don't have gold uh, there are ways for you to uh, to get gold and this is only if you don't know it yet uh, this is a tip right so you can actually sell your uh, dice right so yeah let's let's just sell all of this so I'm selling all my dice except the rare ones uh, I'm only selling the common ones Right, so all in all, it will give me 600,000 gold. You can also sell your costume dice, which I also have a lot. Selling all my dice, except the rare ones, will give me 627,000. So, yeah, uh, that's enough for, uh, <laughs> for another Wednesday of buying all those toys. I don't know how long that will last. I hope that's forever because I will definitely save a lot of money in order to get all of that but anyway if you don't know that yet that's how you get more uh, gold or another way to get more gold uh, why do I have a lot of uh, costume dye or mount dye I got that from alchemy so I keep you know fusing alchemy uh, stuff and so you know uh, it will give you some some costume dye or mount dye and then there you can uh, sell that right now let's talk about the episode pass I'm sure a lot of you are asking the question is it worth it uh, for 99 pesos i'm oh, sorry 999 pesos i think it is kind of worth it uh this one is a rare four star equipment chest although it is at random i would honestly prefer if this was a familiar instead of a weapon because you know we are focused on familiar arena here but uh yeah in terms of value for money this is definitely worth it not only do you get a rare four star equipment chest you also get uh seven of like this right so this is five and i counted it earlier uh you get seven of this so that gives you 35 summon tickets right so that's that's good uh you will also get this right so there are two kinds that they're giving so one premium toy chest that has a chance to get a five star and also this one which is like only a three star so that's weird <laughs> why would they put this in the same boat right so it's kind of confusing or like maybe deceptive in a way because you know maybe you are thinking oh, all right you get all of like all of the toys uh will be like this but no uh some of it like this one only gives you the sure uh three star chest but yeah i think i think it is still uh, uh worth it value for money uh worth it if you are going to spend in this game uh which i am not i am totally okay with where i'm at uh i am going to stick with the team that i have for until the day i die <laughs> or until i quit the game definitely if you're asking me uh is that worth it definitely i think it is it is worth it if i am spending i am definitely spending on this all right so uh, that's that uh another thing is this one so the episode dungeon right so nightmare plaza uh first of all this girl is hot i really like her look at those boobies mm, bouncing up and down but let's not talk about that uh there are rumors that uh, if you do certain things uh you will get this one a boogie i did five runs so one of them gave me bogey uh and then three of them gave me a biscuit and then the one the other one did not give me anything so uh the one that got me a bogey was the one where i was the uh, highest damage dealer and the other one that did not give me anything i was also the highest damage dealer so i guess there is no uh like like me we could debunk that theory right but i guess if if there's any explanation to that uh, if you are the highest damage dealer, there is a higher chance that you get it uh, like you get this one or the biscuit This is not confirmed. These are just theories and so uh, Some other people would say like you have to get all those things uh, Around uh, this girl when you're fighting him the the one that will give you uh, sleep uh, immunity, right? So uh, when I got him the the bogey, I did not get any of that so you know in the end maybe it's just by chance and don't be an asshole uh, if you're playing this don't get everything uh, like the the sleep immunity thing uh, right at the beginning of the game you know 
uh, let other people have the immunity as well, right? <laughs> so yeah, just don't be an asshole. Uh, let other people have their fun as well, right? So uh, yeah, uh, that's that's. Uh, but again, I don't know if if that's true. If maybe if you get all of those, I haven't experienced it yet. If you get all of those, you get a sure uh, bogey. I don't think so. But uh, may maybe comment down below if you think there is that factor. Uh, or if it worked for you, uh, definitely would like to know the theories or the uh, rumors that is out there on how to get a bogey. Now we'll talk about Aurora Lynx. Uh, this is no longer a speculation because we have him for sure, right? Although I don't have a lot of battles uh, against Aurora Lynx and I don't have him. So in the end, uh, what I have right now will be kind of premature. Okay, so just take that with a grain of salt. But anyway... Uh, what I can say right off the bat, I think Aurora Lynx is probably the strongest light familiar out there right now or will ever will be. Because just, you know, like we, we all know that light familiars are kind of situational in terms of their use. Like the crab, light familiar, stuns two familiars at the back. Right, so yeah, kind of you know situational. He is not a good damage dealer, but you know helps the team. Uh, Bunny bot, same thing. Uh, will give your team uh, shield, but him in it itself uh, a melee type, really hard to use. Right, bird, which is my staple, uh, really strong, but also situational. Needs to be damaged a lot in order to you know uh, reflect all the damage back. Right, and that way it could be devastating but with aurora links he is kind of straightforward uh really good damage uh this one hits like four times i think uh based on the battle i am going to show you a like one of the videos but yeah so like deals 63 percent uh, of attack per hit and then that is aoe so it will it, it is possible for like aurora links to hit a lot of enemies and then also stuns for 1.5 seconds Right, so that in itself is also good. It has a CC and also has a damage over time for uh, 8 seconds, right? Um, common question, is he worth it? Uh, I think you should uh, because at this point, like, let's just look at the factors right now. A lot of people are quitting. And so uh, if in the future you are going to quit anyway, then just go ahead and summon already. Have your fun before you quit. All right, but uh, in terms of what I think, if I am going to summon him or a relics, I think relics would be a better option because with relics, it has a clear cut synergy with dark familiars, right? Uh, with Aurora links, not really, uh, because again, uh, like for example, the flash. Uh, currently, there's no one that can take advantage of Flash. Really, no one. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be one in the future. If there is, it's going to be a long time from now. So that's why I said, well, again, we're talking about Familiar Arena here only, right? We're not talking about PvP, Lava Valley, none of that. Uh, we're only talking about uh, Familiar Arena. Uh, really hard to synergize with, uh, with Light Familiars. And so I would, you know, uh, like... I like I like Aurora Lynx. If I have him on my team, I will definitely use him. He's a range type, good damage, has some CC and has some damage over time. But if you're going to make me choose between him or a Relics, in theory, I would go for Relics. All right, so that's what I am trying to say. Let me remind you, uh, this is very premature. Uh, I will do some more uh, battles. Let's see if I can. Like, because as of the moment, there's not a lot of people who has Aurora links yet. If I do encounter him a lot, then I can give, you know, more informed uh, take on Aurora links. But as of now, that's my opinion. Now, shout out to Zutira, who has an Aurora links. He is my kingdom mate, by the way. Uh, I just, you know, posted in the kingdom chat. Uh, whoever has an Aurora links, please attack me on the uh, familiar arena and he obliged. So, thank you very much, Zutira. Uh, but anyway, so his Aurora links is, I think, if I remember correctly, A2. So it's not bad. This is for the benefit of those people who are thinking of, you know, uh, summoning an Aurora links and you want to see how he looks in battle. And so this is something that you can, you know, actually see and visualize. And so let's look at it. So Aurora links. Uh, I don't know why he placed him in front, but you know, it's his choice. 
So as you can see there, Aurora Lynx is a range type and this is Aurora Lynx scale. So this is just to show you how big the radius is of his skill. So Bird will be stunned here for 1.5 seconds uh, or more maybe uh, if it increases when uh, the awakening increases. Uh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so this is like this is the radius of uh, like my hippocampus. So I am the one uh, here, right? So the radius of hippocampus skill is bigger than Aurora Lynx. Right, so, uh, and then let's let's check out the timing there. Um, let's see if like who goes first. All right, so almost, almost at the same time, right? So, like it would have been nice if uh, if Hippocampus attacked first, and then uh, and then Aurora Lynx would attack next, so that you know a lot of familiars will be hit or will be stunned. Uh, when our rolling sues his skill but it is at the same time and so uh probably you know won't hit a lot like especially like for example my team i only have one uh melee type that's bird and so only bird will be hit by aurora links skill and so that's what happened there so yeah he's stunned for like 1.5 seconds or i don't know but yeah it, it's stunned right so there's that um What's gonna happen here? Forgot already. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna win this. Uh, I don't know if Aurora Lynx was a difference maker. Maybe not. So my Toko died early. So maybe if it isn't Aurora Lynx that he's using, because you know I think he just used it to accommodate my request. But uh, maybe he would have he would have beaten me if he's not using Aurora Lynx. Yeah. So that's why I kind of said. Uh, I am gonna go for relics instead of Aurora Lynx, but again, uh, that is kind of premature. But yeah, so let, let's look at how how much damage he did. Like, uh, it did say in the description, sixty-three percent of attack damage per hit. So let's see how many hit Aurora Lynx will do on my bird. It would be hard to see though, because uh, let's see. So the skill would be right about this moment. So here, it's already at cooldown. So that's so that's around 426, right? So one, so around three, I think. So we're we're looking at the 422 because that's basically the Aurora Link skill 422, the damage. So 434, 422, three, four. So four times. Yeah. So there's four times. Let's check that again. Ah, oh, this is like I don't know if you're still following this, but yeah. And then skill one, two, three. So four, I think four. Uh, four times, sixty, one twenty. So two hundred forty damage, right? And then there's a flash skill, uh, or like flash effect, which is hundred percent damage, uh, for eight seconds. So, all in all, the total damage would be around. Uh, three hundred forty. And then additional stun for 1.5 seconds. And then this is AOE. But yeah, that's not bad. Uh, Aurora Lynx is not bad. Uh, I would definitely try to use him if I have him. Uh, him being a neutral uh, element. Not really neutral, but his hits would be neutral. And it would be devastating to, like, you know, dark types. Since there's a lot of dark types that are melee types, right? And Aurora Lynx being a range type, he wouldn't be taken advantage of. Uh, by you know like for example if you're you're like the other team is using a dark type team or a lot of dark types since he is a range type you can put like a tank in front and then aurora links would have the ben benefit of doing times two damage to all of them while he is safe at the back so i think aurora links could have some use and maybe what i like again that was premature I i'm starting to grow on aurora links he could be he could be something, right? So definitely could be used uh, in a in a team that has a you know really good tank. Yeah, probably probably the same usefulness as Hippocampus in a way. Uh, I would probably still prefer Hippocampus just because of 
uh, like there's more radius. Uh, r- like it can change the uh, the placing of the opponent and kind of stuns them for a little bit. Aurora Lynx will stun, but doesn't you know uh, change the placement, right? And the radius is not is not much. So I would maybe if I'm gonna rank them, I'm gonna place him just below hippocampus in terms of uh, usefulness overall usefulness i don't know where you have hippocampus on your mind but maybe place him below like place uh, aurora links below that all right so there you go i hope that uh, helps you uh, if you are thinking of uh, summoning an aurora links or whatever uh, i hope that helps uh, but that's it for me uh, by the way no stream on the weekend i am going to bangkok uh, tomorrow and so i uh, going to be busy, but that's probably the last you'll hear from me this week. Check back next week. I'm going to be, uh, be back. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, enjoy the event. Uh, we deserve this one. Uh, see you guys on the next one.